it's a it's a protest song. It is? Yeah, not not so much a I would think you could classify it that way. It's a social issue song, kind of. But it's really more about being an individual and having all these things inside of you. You know. But as the songwriter, are you saying you're you're susceptible to all these things or are you talking to me as a listener? Saying, I'm saying watch all out us, because we. Well, then that's what I mean. That's, I guess, what I'm saying. But it's community. Each it's... individual, though. Oh. Each individual has this thing, that, all these things that they battle. So the first one is gluttony. I'll be dining on your soul, devouring your self control. To your defeat, I'll drink a cup, and I'll make sure you're all fed up. And when I'm gone, I won't atone Cause it's all mine down to the bone And you can't tell me what to do I'm your gluttony And I'm in you Have you ever had a problem with that? Sure. Okay. The, the second one is sloth's not one you have a, lot, a big problem with, really. Well, I could succumb to that one very easily. What would, what would cause you to be a, to be sloth-like? <laughs> <laughs> really, what would it be? Oh, what would cause me to be? Yeah. Or what allow would, what me would to be? What would send you into? Oh, allow. <laughs> so you like the idea of being a sloth? I do. All right. <laughs> Well, I don't know about sloth. Well, that's uh, the idea of a sloth. I mean, in, in, in the lyric, it goes, uh, well, I'll just play it right here. Okay. I was there when you were born. Make you lazy, tired, and warm. I took you by the idle hand. Best you never take a stand. And more than meaningless despair, I can make you go nowhere. Sloth inside of me. Okay, we're back. Okay, sloth, envy, no, wait, sloth, covetousness? Yes. Have you ever battled or struggled with covetousness? Well, is that jealousy or you covet something? Covetousness is that you keep something for yourself and you basically don't share it. But I thought you covet, like, in the Bible, coveting, like, uh, you shouldn't covet another man's wife or something like that. That's not so much necessarily want something that someone else has. It's just that you want something so bad that mm -hmm. you're willing to give up anything for it. Whether someone else had you, oh. someone else doesn't have to have it for you to covet something. Okay. Although another man's wife can be an interesting <laughs> Well, that's the Bible reference. Right. The things you have, the things you reap, the silver spoons and all you keep, the things you hold and hide away, keep them until your dying day. And I'm not in a sharing sea, none for them, it's all for me. And you can't tell me what to do. the covetousness inside of you. Um, okay, covetousness, and then what's the next one? Anger. Lust. Anger. No, I got a different order than oh. that. Then. I used to have gluttony, anger, lust, pride, sloth, envy. Covetousness. Yeah. <laughs> now it's, it starts gluttony, sloth, uh, lust, you ever have a problem with that? <laughs> problem? I don't know. Look at the camera and tell the camera. <laughs> do you have a problem? You I'm never had a problem with Obviously problem? sins are problem things. A sin is a is like a, a negative thing, right? I would assume it okay, is, so, yes. So, so <laughs> lust, have you ever have you, well, like, you, you have to get you specifics? I, well, when you and I first got together, 
wasn't it about that? And is that simple? Well, it was about that for me. <laughs> I didn't realize it was about that for you as well. <laughs> is that simple? Well, it can be if you lust for something and it, and it goes overboard. And well, you can lust for things as well. Like well, money. I think most... Mm, okay, but I think mostly lust... Power. Mm, okay, but I think fame. lust is really mostly about sex. You do? Yes, I think most people would agree. When you hear the word lust, you think about... Yeah. Sex. I can tie you in a knot. I light the fire that makes you hot. And I can tempt the inner saint. And I can make the angels faint. And I can set your soul on fire. Overwhelmed with pure desire. And you can't tell. And then, <laughs> and then it goes to anger. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have a problem with that? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. But it's true of everybody, I think. Everybody has, it's the most obvious one, you know? Because yeah. you can hide other ones. Maker of the wars, I like the sound of slamming doors, and I can blind with rage for sure. But you can't see, you can't endure. And certain as the break of day, I can steal your mind away, and you can't tell me what to do. Envy already? We no. didn't. Yeah, okay. Well, let me go back because envy is probably one of the most interesting ones. Mm -hmm. What do you, when I say envy, what do you think? Well, I think it's certainly jealousy, but it's more than just being jealous because you envy, you know, like I envy, you know, things that I've that I would love to be able to be like. That's true. One of the things I found out about envy, though, envy, what separates it from like jealousy and some of the other sins, mm -hmm. is envy is a type of sin where it's, you have something, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not so much that I want it, mm -hmm. I just don't want you to have it. Oh. Yeah. When your betters hold you back, I recommend that you attack. I just resent what they possess Without their things your life's a mess And I can make you not enough You really must destroy their stuff And you can't tell me what to do I'm the envy inside of you So it's like known as the most insidious sin. Oh. Yeah. So that's, you know, you can envy, there are shades of it, but that's the raw envy thing of like, you know, I, it's not, I don't even want it, I just don't want you to have it. And but we so casually envy. say, oh, I envy you because you're so... We casually say a lot of sins, which yes. brings us to my last one and my favorite one. What's that one? Pride. Pride. That one, see, that one's the tough one because we're so proud of... Our families, and we're, you know, proud of our own work, and right. It's a tough one because you're right. It, in a lot of ways, it's positive. It can be, but my problem is it never gets viewed of as negative. Except there is the phrase "pride comes before a fall." I'm your favorite one of all. I like to come before the fall. For me, you blindly. Fight your wars, and I'm the one that you adore, and I'm the one that you respect. I could.
couldn't have a bad effect And you can't tell me what to do I'm your pride And I'm in you Who's this? Ethel. Is she a sinner? No. Can animals sin? No. What if one bites you? That's anger. It's a response usually. Can an animal cheat? Can a dog cheat on his wife? I don't know. I don't know the animal <laughs> kingdom that way. All right. Is there anything else you want to say about deadly sin? Do you like the song? I do. You do? Right. There's just one thing that I can't do. I can't be the love in you.